Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and welcome back. Now, we all know what caller ID is. Now, with Odoo VoIP, caller ID gives companies control over what their caller ID will look like to customers. Here at Stealthywood, we use dynamic caller ID so that we can choose which number is displayed, like star 67 with a little more professionalism. We can purchase international numbers as well, just in case we want to make international calls or display a local number so we can increase that engagement. Now, one of our employees, Steve, as a VOIP phone number with the company, he calls a prospective client, Emily, from his own line, but we set it up so it shows up as our company mainline calling. Now, Emily missed that call, but Emily calls back and Steve is out of the office on vacation. She gets funneled through our mainline and she can get the help she needs from someone else right away. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to configure everything through a provider called Axivox as an example, but your screen may look a little bit different depending on what provider you're using. So enough chit chat, let's jump into Steve's problem. So here I am inside of the Axivox admin portal. First things first, I'm gonna click into settings in the bottom left corner over here, and I wanna default your attention to this default outgoing number. This is our company's main number. This means that when anyone in our company calls a number outside the company, this is the number that's gonna show up on our default caller ID. If someone outside the company tries to call a sales rep or another member of your team, they're gonna get funneled back through your dial plan for the main line which is great because if someone no longer works at your company or they're off work at the time, nothing will fall through the cracks. Now to learn more about dial plans, be sure to check out our videos on them once that they're up. This is basically the number that shows up by default, but we can also configure this differently at the user level. I'm gonna talk about that. So we're gonna jump over here to users on the left-hand side and you can just find that generally right there. Okay, now inside of here, if I click on my user Jose, and then I go over to the general tab, which actually opens up by default. You'll notice over here we have an outgoing number. Now I can either choose the default one or a number assigned to me. And it's basically going to be a drop down that you choose. And I'm going to show some of those options. Like I said, we have default and then some of the other numbers that you might have. Now, if I choose default, whenever I call someone, the caller ID will show our company mainline number. Since that's basically the default number that we configured in the settings. Now, on the other hand, if I choose a specific number, the caller ID will show that number instead. And if a customer calls me back, it'll ring my direct line. I'm just going to click on cancel here because I did some changes and I don't want them to stick right there. Don't want to make any changes. Now, if I click add a user up here at the top, would you look at that? I get a few options. Specifically, if I go back to outgoing number, I can once again choose a different number. It automatically selected default by default which is our company nine for new users. Lots of different ways that you can set things up here to be accessible or as hard to reach as you'd like. But let's get out of here once again. And in this case, I'm gonna go back over into settings. And this time we're actually gonna click on this blue button over here that says advanced options because I wanna talk about something. Now, if I click right here on the green plus, well, what happens? Well, I can actually set up a different number and that is going to be a caller ID depending on what location we're calling. For example, I can identify and set up the destination prefix. In our case, I want to set this up that whenever we call Australia, it shows an Australian number on the caller ID. Shout out to Australia Odoo office. All I need to do on my end is to try and nail my good day mates. So I'm going to type in the destination prefix, which in our case is going to be 0061. And in our case, I need a phone number over here. So let's pick this 61. Great. I can also change the order of the rules with the mouse by hovering, as you can see over here, until I have some sort of little arrow that pops up and it lets me move them around. I was trying to show that slow so you can get that nice fluid animation. All right, the first matching rule is the one that applies. And when I'm ready, I can actually just click save right there and then go up to the top and hit apply changes. Always remember those two options. And that's how you can configure dynamic caller ID for your company. And that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about VOIP, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Grab a snack.